Uh, good morning everyone. Well, I am recording this video, you know, on Sunday morning. This video is coming out on Sunday. Um, I'm a little bit behind, I won't lie, because I, I've changed my schedule. Um, because YouTube showed me this feature. I can see what days people watch my uploads. But it suits you guys, so I've kind of made my new schedule around that. We're doing Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday at the moment. Or at minimum... Um, Thursday and Sunday, uh, Tuesday and Sunday, sorry. Um, so we're gonna have at least two upload days a week. Rup. But yeah, away from that, uh, you know, I've done about 200 miles on this Honda now, which is sick, but I have only made one video. Later on, I'm gonna be recording a, um, a 0 60. But yeah, we're just gonna have, um, an early morning chill ride here because last time I was just sat there, you know, saying how nice the bike is. I wasn't really doing much with it. Um, but yeah, so, you know, this bike so far has, has been a blast, honestly. Um, you know, but not every bike comes with without its problems. You're, you are stopping way in advance. Yeah, so not every bike no, no, no bike comes without its problem. So I'm going to tell you guys what I've had to do to this bike to get it to the state it's in now. Um, so when I bought it, it had its stock exhaust on and it had... You know, what did, what, the only modification it really had was the double bubble tinted windscreen on the front, which is, you know, great to have for free. I can't lie, I wanted to put one on anyway. Um, but the, the brake lever was bent. It, it, it was so bent you could hardly get four fingers on it, so I've now replaced the levers with black shorty levers, which I regret doing because I hate how the clutch feels. It just feels so unstable. So I'm going to be replacing them again. Maybe probably with stock. Um, so yeah, that, that was the first thing I did, just for safety. Um, not the first thing, sorry. That, technically speaking, that was actually the last thing I did. But the last two things I did were the most important. Um, I'm also about to replace the right handlebar because the bar is actually bent. So my steering is affected and it wouldn't actually pass an MOT. So, you know, I, I am replacing that just for safety reasons. Do, do, do. I've already got the part. I just got to get the time to, you know, strip the handlebar, take it off and put it back on. So that will be done. I'm just going to wait for my dad to help me out just in case I fuck it up and my steering bar comes off. Um, uh, yeah, then the main one for me really was the exhaust. Um, because I, 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 I couldn't get along with the sound of the bike. I can't lie. It, it sounded like you're sticking your head out a car window when it was moving and all you could hear was the wind. That's, that, that's what my bike exhaust was. So yeah, I wasn't a massive fan of the exhaust and I didn't get along with it. Um, but I can't lie, the exhaust I've gone for was the only one I could found, the only one I found that was actually quite nice because I kept watching all these videos of other ones and everything and they were all either ridiculously loud, ridiculously bassy, um, or just, you know, some shit pipe that doesn't make a difference. Like, why would you spend money on it? So the only actual half decent pipe, we're gonna go the long way today because I feel like a little a little morning ride. Yeah, the only way I could find it was actually half decent was the Scorpion, you know, circuit taper, which is actually a decent a decent end can now. I'm actually just gonna gonna change lane over here. Yeah, so it's actually a decent end can. Um, uh, it, it does a good job to be fair. We're going to go test out the bike speed to be fair. We're going to go do a 0 to 60. Let's go! So we're going to go fuck about with the bike for a minute. Um, just for a bit of fun. Yeah, so I've changed the exhaust for levers. Um, you know, I can change the handlebar. And that's just about everything I've actually done to make it safe. Here you go, this is a national speed limit here. Alright, so we'll test for 0 to 60 here. Right, let me just get into the national speed limit. I'll go a little bit slower, just because there's no one behind me. Ready? Right, we'll have to do it from 25. Let's go. So 
so yeah, this, this, this bike's not slow. So yeah, we are gonna, we're gonna go test an actual 0 to 60 in a second. We're just gonna go down um, a quiet stretch of road, quick bike, and just shoot down and do a 0 to 60. I know 6 a.m. isn't the best time to be doing a 0 to 60, but why not? We're gonna do it anyway. Me and my stupidly loud exhaust. I'm just gonna head down a a road we can actually stop and it's straight enough to just shoot down, you know. Oh, you wanker! Really, really, dipshit. Of uh, I am just gonna check the road for, you know, just in case there's police out there because sometimes I like to hide in there. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to pretend I'm going home. So this bike is so much nicer to ride, I can't lie, compared to the Yamaha. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I've got some more upgrades I want to do, um, but they're not, they're, they're not needed at all. It's just me wanting to be, you know, decked out. I just want to get the air filter and everything as well, just for a bit of a boost. This, this road's well quieter this time. My God. So yeah, we're just heading over to our north to see. It's just me on the bike at the moment. I've just dropped Jess off. So it's just me and uh, me and um, my weight on the bike, which does affect the north to 60 to be fair, because I've got to think about pillion while accelerating. Whereas me, I don't really care if I fall off as long as I don't die. Right, let's go test the north to 60. That'll be another TikTok I can post to get rinsed for. You're not shifting right. Alright, let's just make sure it's actually clear down here. Because, fun fact, this road here is a 30. You know, to be fair, I think I'd actually hit 60 if I go from here. Because, you know, the, these bikes are not weak. Right. Nath. Get get the time on the screen because this is this new editing technology I've unve unveiled. Is you know I've I I, I learn. Okay, right for from a stop start. Ready? Right, I've never done one of these before. All right, let's give it a go. Ready? Right, I did actually hit 60 there, but then I nearly fell off. <laughs> Right, let's give that another go where I actually go past 60 instead of bouncing on 61. Fuck me, I've, I'm kind of scared for my own life there. <laughs> let's give that another go. I only need to use gear 2, so it's not like I've actually got an upshift. There was these bumps here that nearly... Um, sorry, these that bump there that nearly threw me off, so... Right, let's give that another go. I'm a bit naughty and use the other side of the road because it's really early. Right, let me just turn around with my bent handlebar that doesn't affect my steering whatsoever. Right, this time I'm going to avoid that suicidal bump and we're going to give it another go. Right, so there's absolutely nobody around. This is a safe environment to do this. This is for safety disclaimers so YouTube doesn't call this dangerous acts. Right, let's give it another go. Ready? Ready? Don't wheelie even though. go right we've done two 0 to 60 tests and i don't actually know the times but i feel like that was as good as i'm going to get for now um so yeah there you go guys i'm sure that was only about three or four seconds the actual time on this bike is said to be 3.8 seconds so over time i'm going to be keep doing my 0 to 60s and you know, checking up on it, making sure I'm doing them okay, and you know, we'll keep, we'll revisit the 0 to 60s every now and again on this bike, just for, just for fun, I guess. But it's actually quite a nice morning, to be fair. I don't mind going for a ride. You know, it's not too cold, but you know, my hands, I can feel the cold. Um, it's, not, it's not too bad, to be fair. I'm, I'm not, I'm not complaining about it today. It's all right. Yeah, 
So guys, we've done the 0 to 60, you know, that was one of the requested ones. Also, top speed is a heavily requested video. I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna do that because I've got to go up to 116 mile an hour on it. And I'm not doing that on the public road and putting it on YouTube. So, I, I will have to, um, I just hit my horn there. I will have to find a uh, private road that someone will let me go down. It was really straight, probably like an old airfield or something. Which there are ones round near me, so it wouldn't take me long to find one at all. So, yes, that is an option. We will be doing a top speed, but I'm going to be doing it safely on a road that's not going to be a suicidal, you, you know, death trap where I end up losing my license at the end of it. You know, you get me. But yeah, the, the bike's acceleration is actually banging, to be fair. Because now I'm used to it, I can actually control the acceleration more, like, like just there. Compared to that, to the last video, I'm actually doing really well. Um, oh, and I've got a question to ask you guys. Would you guys like to see a 360 camera put on the bike? Because I'm heavily debating buying one right now, and I would actually love to. So, if you guys think it would look good, then I'd love to do it. I love this bike, it's actually crazy. But yeah, so guys, we've, we've had some early morning, you know, chats. It's, you know, I've probably been recording for about 10 minutes now. We've been doing some fun 0-60s. Um, hopefully I got close to 3.8 seconds. Um, if not, I, f I think I was closer to 4 or 5 to be fair. Um, but for my first attempt, I think that's okay. We, sorry, I've got the hiccups. Um, we're going to be giving it another go down some other roads, and I've also got to do a full review. I've got to do a full review of this bike yet, so I'm going to take um, maybe today, maybe not. I'm going to go down to my review spot in that little, you know, by that farm gate where I've reviewed all my bikes. I don't know why, but I've made that my spot. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and please do subscribe as it helps my channel out a lot. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!